Understanding the phrase, I need a chaser, an English language learning guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our latest English language learning video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat less common phrase, I need a chaser. This phrase can be puzzling for English learners, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and its context in everyday conversation. So, let's get started. I need a chaser is a phrase commonly used in a social or drinking context. A chaser refers to a drink, usually non-alcoholic, that is consumed after a strong or potent alcoholic drink. The purpose of a chaser is to neutralize the taste of the strong drink, making it more palatable. This phrase is often heard in bars, parties, or social gatherings where alcohol is being served. Let's look at some examples to understand better how this phrase is used. 1. At a bar. Imagine you're at a bar, and someone just had a shot of strong liquor. They might say, I need a chaser, and then drink something milder, like water or soda, right after. 2. In social conversations, sometimes, this phrase can be used metaphorically. For example, if someone hears shocking or intense news, they might jokingly say, I need a chaser for that news, implying that they need something to help them process the information. The use of, I need a chaser, can vary depending on the cultural context. In some cultures, drinking straight spirits without a chaser is a norm, while in others, chasers are a common part of the drinking experience. Additionally, the type of chaser can vary widely, from simple water to elaborate mixed drinks or soft drinks. When using this phrase, remember, context is key. Use this phrase in an appropriate social or drinking setting. Tone matters. The phrase can be serious or humorous, depending on the tone of voice. Know your audience. Be aware of the cultural context and preferences of your audience. I need a chaser is a phrase that opens up a little window into the social and cultural aspects of language. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also about the context and culture they represent. Happy learning, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.